Hello everyone, Dark Shadow Films 101 here, back again with another glorious fan fiction reading. Today, I have a story that I had promised the author that I would read, and so I've decided to uphold that promise and actually read it. The story for today is called My Little Puggy by Darth Will 3. <clears throat> Chapter 1 Prologue One day, at Fluttershy's house, Rainbow Dash had just stopped by to pick up her tortoise, Tank. Thanks for fixing up tanks for me, Fluttershy, said Rainbow, giving her tortoise a high hoof. I wish I knew how you'd cure sore throats for animals. Fluttershy smiled. Oh, it's not so hard, she replied softly. I just read the instructions given by my copy of the Thousand Ways to Cure Your Pet manual. Rainbow raised an eyebrow. You read the manual? she asked. Every pony reads the manual, chimed Fluttershy. Anyway, you're so lucky to have a pet like Tank. Rainbow and Tank acknowledged each other with grins of satisfaction. Where would she be without him? After all, he helped remove that boulder from her wing at Ghastly Gorge with his head, which was, an, which was remarkable for the little guy like him, and on their first pet a pony pet playdate, too. Of course, continued Fluttershy. I still think this sweet little putty tat has your name written all over him. And she carried that little white kitten with the bow on his head that matched his big eyes, nudging his head next to Rainbow. I mean, look at him. He's so cute. Rainbow sighed heavily and gave her filly hood friend an obvious look of annoyance. Fluttershy, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't do cute. Oh, that's not true, said Fluttershy. Twilight told me how you reacted to the power sprites I brought in, remember? Rainbow Dash's face reddened. Fluttershy was right, but she didn't want to admit it. Worst of all, she even called the power sprites adorable trash. She couldn't believe she said that. Luckily for her, no pony was there to hear it, since she was up in the sky and her voice was kept low. I was just playing along with the crowd before the little monsters had grown like crazy, she snapped. Why should the best flyer in Equestria fall for something that's cute? Answer me that. Fluttershy became hesitant in her reply. Well, forget I asked, okay? Rainbow cut in dryly. See you later. And with that, she and Tank left the house and flew up into the air, the latter using the, the helicopter hat on his shell for that advantage. I'm telling you, Tank, Rainbow said dryly. If I never hear the word cute, adorable, sweet, or anything like them, it'll be too soon. Hey, Rainbow Dash, called Pinkie Pie from down below in her trippy way. Love the new getaway with Tank from Fluttershy's house. It's pretty cute. Tank looked to his owner with her eyelids half closed with resignation before hearing her say, Yep, it's too soon. Chapter 2 Meeting the Wonder Pugs Rainbow Dash and Tank were just lying on a tree, which was the former's usual hobby. Each was lying in a separate branch away from the other. Nothing got to them like a good time to stretch out and relax in the cool, fresh air. It had passed 20 minutes after getting here that Tank heard a big splash in the river nearby. He awoke with a start and looked to see a big brown bag being swept away and it looked as if it were... Tank didn't have time to figure out what he saw was happening. He turned on his helicopter hat and hovered to the branch that Rainbow was sleeping. Rainbow felt a nudge from Tank and woke, woke up to see her faithful tortoise pointing to where, she saw, where he saw sorry, the water-bound sack. Oh, come on, Tank, she sighed. It's just a boring old bag some pony was, wasn't smart enough to get rid of and... And it moves? She added, alarmed to see the bag being poked from the inside. What kind of a nut would stuff some pony in a bag and toss them overboard? In a flash, Rainbow flew over and scooped the bag from the river in a matter of seconds, and it took no effort at all. Gotcha! She cried triumphantly. Boy, you must be lighter than I thought. For a brief moment, she thought she heard snorting. But then, it must be because who was in there had to be asleep, unaware of the peril that just happened. 
She sat down with the sack a few feet from the river just as Tang coincided with the landing. They high hoofed and Rainbow loosened the string on the bag to release the hostage, or hostages, depending on the numbers inside. On all fours, the best flyer in Equestria stood out proud and gave off a saying that she had long stepped aside. Never fear, your friendly neighborhood Rainbow Dash is... But before she could finish her catchphrase, she was completely overwhelmed by one, two, three, four fawn pug puppies that rushed out of the bag. Half were male, and the other half female. Each weighed a little less than five pounds. Even Tank wasn't expecting this kind of gratitude. Rainbow was knocked down on the ground and wiggled helplessly as the puppy smug smudged her face with their kisses. Hey, I cut it out, she begged, not holding back her laughter. Please, stop! You're killing me here! The puppy stopped their kissing and began to nudge Rainbow on her belly. She was starting to get a bit disturbed. Okay, okay, I get it, she said dryly as she sat up, knock knocking the puppies back to the ground on their feet. You're welcome. Now could you at least go away? But of course, the puppies wouldn't. They just nudged Rainbow until she had it had enough. Come on, Tank, she called out before zooming into the sky. Let's get out of here. Tank didn't need to be told twice. In less than a minute, the blue pegasus and the tortoise reached the pond on the southeastern mo side of Ponyville. They settled down in a nice soft grassy spot. Rainbow sighed contentedly as she lay on the ground. Well, Tank, she spoke, closing her eyes. Another save, another thanks. At least we won't, at least we won't be able to see those puppies again. But Rainbow spoke too soon. Suddenly, there was a tiny yip. Rainbow opened her eyes and slowly looked to her right. Pupils shrunk. It was a sound that she had not expected. All four puppies were standing next to her. They jumped on her, kissing her and cuddling their way on her back. Rainbow screamed in fright and flew away at top speed, Tank trying to keep up with her. For a whole hour, Rainbow and Tank did all they could to lose the puppies. They tried the mountains. They tried the Everfree Forest. They tried the school, playground. They tried the Ponyville Town Hall. But no matter where they went, the puppies were always somehow a step ahead of them and waiting for them. Finally, a couple of yards away from the empty Cutie Mark Crusaders clubhouse, Rainbow's patience had snapped. Look! She spat at the puppies. I don't know what's wrong with you, but you're just as annoying as Pinkie Pie asking for favors or answers. I am not your mother, and I am not even your owner. I already have a pet, she added, quickly giving a glance to Tank. Now take your curly tails out of here and get lost. She turned to leave. She heard a series of small whimpering. She glanced back to see the puppies and saw their sad and lonely faces. Their eyeballs were enlarged and beseeching. Rainbow winced at the sight. These puppies were giving her that look the all-too-familiar look that any pony would use. But even without that look, they were still so... so... She didn't stop to hear her mind say anything, any of the other faithful words. All right, she sighed in defeat. You win! The puppies jumped and barked with joy, rubbing their bodies on Rainbow as if giving her a hug. One of the males even played with her tail. Rainbow then noticed Tank, who looked as if he had been stabbed in the back. She walked over and placed a hoof over the chin, the tortoise's chin. Listen, Tank, she reassured him with a warming smile. I'm not going to be leaving you. You're my number one pet, and you always will be. But the puppies... She paused as she looked back at the six-inch long juvenile pugs. I... I just can't leave them. They have no home. No pony to take care of them. They need me. Well, they need both of us. You understand, right? Will you help me? Tank, after a few seconds, gave his slow smile. There's a good tortoise, exclaimed Rainbow, giving Tank a high hoof. Both Rainbow and Tank put the puppies in a column of four before the blue pegasus addressed, addressed them. Each little pug was paying attention. Rainbow smiled. All right, little guys, she said. Before we can find you a home, 
You might as well think of names for you. She looked at the female puppy to the far left. You, young lady, shall now be known as Spitfire. She's the captain of the Wonderbolts, in case you haven't noticed. She paused for a moment before asking, Would you like that? Spitfire yipped and panted happily in response. All right then, replied Rainbow, satisfied. Spitfire it shall be. She locked eyes on the male puppy in the middle left. You will be henceforth be recalled Rapid Fire. Like it? Rapid Fire simply barked and wagged his little curly tail. You, Rainbow continued to the female pug on the middle right, will be named Fleetfoot. What she lacks in size, she makes, for, makes up for in speed. After watching you closely, I thought it might be cool to give you that name. How's that sound? Fleetfoot was overjoyed that she made a few bounces, just like Pinkie Pie. And as for you, Rainbow addressed to the male puppy on the far right, I think you've earned the honor of the title. She paused and blushed for a second before giving out the name. Soren, what do you think? Tiny Soren gave a gentle, sweet little nod. Then it's settled, Rainbow said. From this day forward, I hereby dub you all the Wonder Pugs. The puppies all barked with joy and ran around Rainbow, each of them nudging one of her four legs. Rainbow sighed heavily, but a lot more warmingly than previously. Okay, okay. No need to keep thanking me with that. She straightened up causing the puppies to give her their undivided attention. Now that you all have your names, let's go find a, you a nice comfy place to stay. After distancing herself from the newly appointed Wonder Pugs, she went to confer with Tank on the matter. Now who do we know has extra room for tiny puppies? Then Rainbow suddenly remembered. That's it! she exclaimed. I'll take them to Fluttershy. I'm sure she can provide them with... She stopped as if she had been remembered something else. Then her face of optimism dropped to one of doubt. What the hell am I thinking? She's got enough animals at her place as it is. Tank raised an eyebrow to Rainbow's comment. What was wrong with Fluttershy's home? It was just fine with him before Rainbow met him. No, we'll have to think of some pony else, Rainbow thought a little more. And after just a few seconds, another idea idea brought her face beaming again. Of course, she cried. Twilight, she'll know what to do. Tank, rally up the Wonder Pugs. We're moving out. Chapter 3 Trouble at Twilight's Place Rainbow and Tank exited the pet shop, with the Wonder Pugs following behind with their new collars and name tags on. All the collars had the same main color of the Wonder Bolts for their namesakes. Spitfire's was orange and yellow streaked, Soren dark blue, Fleetfoot white, and Rapidfire turquoise and white streaked. Every single little puppy snorted with pride. Since the puppies couldn't keep up in the air, what with no wings and only tiny little legs, Rainbow had to lead on the ground. Tank remained flying in the air. Moments later, they were all outside Twilight's house. Rainbow knocked on the door. Coming! called Twilight from inside. She opened up and then saw two familiar faces. Oh, hi Rainbow Dash, she said warmly. Hi Tank, how's it going with... She suddenly stopped as she saw the Wonder Pugs right behind the blue Pegasus and the flying tortoise before rushing over to meet them. Uh, Twilight? asked Rainbow, dumbfounded. Aw, Rainbow, chuckled Twilight as Spitfire kissed her on the cheek. You didn't tell me you were buying such adorable puppies. Rainbow grimaced. They sure are... Uh, 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 admirable. I'll give them that. She spoke hesitantly, barely managing not to say the other A word. And no, I didn't buy those puppies. I found them. And they bought, and bought collars and name tags for them. That's it. Oh? said Twilight. So what are you going to do with them? That's what I came to you for, Twy. Can you take care of them for me? They really need a place to stay. Twilight smiled, though it kind of looked rather sad. Rainbow Dash, I would love to watch over them. Great! exclaimed Rainbow, as she turned to the puppies, speaking proudly. 
Wonder Pugs, I declare the House of Twilight Sparkle as your official new home. The Wonder Pugs barked with excitement and raced into the house. But, 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 Twilight began. Thanks a lot, Twilight, said Rainbow. You're the only pony I know who knows how to keep things organized. That's your speciality, right? But, 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 well, I'm sure you'll do a good job. Rainbow turned and walked out into the house. But before I go, I want to see how the little guys are doing. Rainbow, Twilight said sharply with such exasperation that she got her friend's attention. You haven't let me finish. I would really, really love to watch over the puppies, but I can't. Rainbow stopped and looked back at Twilight. Her eyes widened with disbelief and dismay. Huh? She began to say. But why not? One, I haven't got any experience with handling dogs. Two, I don't have the time. And three, the only pony we know who has that kind of training and has a home for the animals on the ground is... Before Twilight could finish, there was a scream inside the house. Right upstairs to where she and Spike, the baby dragon, kept their beds. Rainbow, Twilight, and Tank rushed to the scene to find Spitfire and Soren playing tug-of-war with Spike's blanket, using their mouths to do the pulling. Their faint snorting could be barely be heard from afar, and that wasn't the only thing the two puppies saw. My blanket! shouted Spike, rushing over to his bed. My blue blanket! Give me back my blue blanket! Grabbing a hold of the cloth, he yanked it out of the drum's dumbstruck puppy's oral clutches and nuzzled it on his head. In a few seconds, he became completely relaxed. Spike? said Rainbow, raising an eyebrow. Can you tell me what's with you and the blanket? Sorry, Rainbow Dash, said Spike sheepishly. I just don't like any pony touching my blue blanket. I can see that. It's nothing serious. It's just that I've had it ever since the day I hatched. And I find it very comforting. Twilight giggled. He'll get used to it, she whispered to Rainbow. Rainbow just rolled her eyes. Right. Just then they heard a yip and found Fleetfoot racing around the room, knocking down stacked piles of books that were laid on the floor. She didn't feel like stopping, despite her tiny little paws. Oh no, cried Twilight. Those books were alphabetized. Sorry, Twilight, said Rainbow bashfully. Fleetfoot likes to run around. She's supposed to be a little hyper. Twilight tensely flexed her eyes on Rainbow. A little? Hoot! The two ponies looked to their right to find Owl Wishes the Owl standing on his usual perch on Twilight's desk. Chewing on his left foot was... Rapid fire! Rainbow ran over and got her hooves on the puppy. A second later, Owl Wishish's foot was free. You ought to be more careful, Rainbow scolded to Rapid Fire. I don't know how you managed to jump on a perch twice your height, but you could have slipped and had an accident. Little Rapid Fire gave a whimper of remorse. Satisfied with an apology, Rainbow turned face to the direction of the beds and called out, Spitfire! Soren! Down here! On the double! Obediently, the two puppies obliged and hopped down the stairs. Not one of them made a trip. Wow! exclaimed Rainbow, putting rapid fire down on the floor. Who knew puppies your size could climb upstairs and downstairs so easily? All four wonder pugs smiled and wagged their tails proudly. Anyway, Twilight spoke, I appreciate your coming to me, Rainbow, but I think you should let Fluttershy take care of the puppies. Rainbow shook her head. Are you kidding me? She put in. You saw how many animals she has at her house. I know, acknowledged Twilight. But she can't possibly have too many animals that require her... You know what? Cut in Rainbow, sighing with resignation. Don't bother. I'll find some pony else that'll fit the bill. And with that, she stormed out the door, Tank and the Wonder Pugs trailing from behind. Twilight looked on speechless for a few seconds before calling out. Well then, uh, thanks for dropping by, Rainbow. The blue pegasus didn't answer. She just slammed the door from the outside. 
I can't believe it, complained Rainbow. To think that Twilight would know everything, and yet she doesn't know how to take care of four little puppies. She took a deep breath and allowed herself to relax. The Wonder Pugs watched Rainbow with worry. They started to whimper once more. Noticing the puppies' trouble, Rainbow lowered her head towards them. It's okay, little guys, she soothed. It's not your fault. I just thought I found the perfect home for you. Looks like we're in a tough hay bale. Now, who should we ask next? Tank and the puppies waited patiently for a couple of seconds before regaining their spirits as Rainbow shouted out the name of a lapony she came up with. Pinkie Pie! This ends part one.